East Granby, Connecticut. We also have an office in Fullerton, California. Today we're going to talk about our high pressure coolant pump mounted mist collector, the MP1200. We're going to discuss unpacking them, installation, and the levels of filtration within the mist collector. When you order a pump mount mist collector, it's going to be very straightforward. Everything comes from MP all together. So what's going to show up at your shop is going to be two boxes. This one has the high pressure coolant pump in it, and this one has the mist collector. So at MP, we put a lot of emphasis on how we ship our products. They come with a custom made pallet. This box is nailed on so that it won't come off. And we intentionally use a white box so that they're noticeable during shipment. All of our pallets are custom made and well built for our products. As you can see, it has these risings going completely around the pump to support it during shipment so that it doesn't shift. One more thing I wanted to point out, all of our boxes come with four of these green stickers on them, indicating that nobody should be stacking anything on them during shipment. The mist collector is going to ship to you with all of these items included at no additional charge. It's going to come on the pallet with the mist collector. So what we have here is 12 and a half feet of poly wire hose. This is the bracket that attaches to the top of the pump. This is the hardware. Two hose clamps, the machine collar. We also have an overflow. This will replace the existing overflow on the pump return. As you can see from the guys installing the pump, it only took a few minutes. Everything's simple and straightforward. The pump and mist collector are powder coated with a very durable hammer tone finish. Now I'm going to walk you through what comes next. I'm going to take off the original hose on the high pressure pump. Once I have the hose off, I can install the longer hose from the parts box that we supply with the mist collector. Next, I'm going to take off the side cover from the high pressure pump so I can run the wires and rotate the Y valve. Here, I'm going to loosen the Y valve so I can rotate it 90 degrees. That way, the filter hoses can clear the mist collector. Now, I'm going to run the wires into the pump. First, I'll remove the plastic grommet and then I'll begin feeding the wire through the mist collector bracket. Here, I'll install the supplied cord grip and run the wire through the top of the pump. The wires are now in the pump. I'm going to take off the front cover so we can hook it up to the electrical panel. I'm loosening the soft seal on the electrical cabinet with a ratchet and an Allen key. I'll spread the soft seal open and feed the wire into the electrical cabinet. And I'll tighten the soft seal back up. Here I'm going to make six easy connections to the terminal block which will already be pre-installed in your pump. I took the terminal block off to show you a better view. I'm just twisting the wire ends, inserting them into the terminal block, and tightening them up with a small flat head screwdriver. Now I'll put the terminal block back on where I found it, on the DIN rail, and the wiring is complete. One of the last things we have to do is take off the original return fitting and install the one supplied by MP Systems. Now I'll install the MP1200 return line to the return fitting I just installed on the pump. The final stage is to reinstall the covers on the pump. Now I'm going to show you how to easily attach the poly wire hose that we provide onto the mist collector using the hose clamp that we provide as well. So you slide the hose on, you bring the, the hose clamp up here close to the mist collector and then you just tighten it up. When you connect the poly wire hose to the machine tool, be sure to install it so that there isn't a sag in the hose. You can cut the 12 and a half foot section to be shorter to accommodate what you're trying to do. When mounting the flange to the machine tool, locate it as far away from the coolant spray as possible. This will ensure little or no coolant will enter the filter. The mist collector is mounted on top of the pump, so you're saving on floor space. There's no stand to mess around with, none of that's going to be going on. This unit removes unwanted mist and vapors caused by spraying coolant in the machine tool cabinet. This is a three-stage media filtration unit. I'm going to open this up so you guys can see inside. I'm going to show you how easy it is to take out all three stages of the mist collector. Now that we have the filters out of the mist collector, I'm going to explain to you a little bit about them. This is the baffle filter. 
is reusable. You don't have to buy another one. You can hand wash this one. This is a wire mesh filter. This was the second stage of filtration. And this one is also washable. You do not need to buy a replacement for this. This is the microcell filter. This is the biggest portion of the filtration. This is the only unit that you would have to purchase to replace. This is the HEPA filter option. So over here we have the microcell disposable filter. You can purchase this HEPA option filter. The HEPA filter will replace this filter and the mist collector. Now I'm going to put the filters back in. When you wire the mist collector through our pump like I did in this video, the MP1200 will automatically run at a set speed when the high pressure is active. When the high pressure turns off, the MP1200 runs for an additional 20 seconds at max speed. The MP1200 setting can be modified through the PLC to your preferences. Our unit is adjustable, which is a great feature. So you can use this knob right here to change the CFM of the mist collector. This unit, both the mist collector and the pump, are fully supported by MP systems. Anytime you call during normal business hours, you're going to speak to an engineer live.